Good morning. I'm Cindy Scott, and I would like to talk to you about taking attendance. This is something that's done every morning in the elementary and at the beginning of every class for the middle and the upper school. To take attendance, you're going to go to RenWeb. RenWeb is the online content management system that Grove uses. We use it for attendance. It's our grade book. We also use it to log communication with parents and students and also to log conduct for merits and demerits. But for this video, I really just want to talk about taking attendance. So in order to do that, you're going to open a new tab and you're going to go to renweb.com. You will be brought to a page, <clears throat> excuse me, a page that looks like this. RenWeb is now being called Facts. You're going to come over here, click on School Login, and then click on the Student Information System. You'll be brought to a home page in a second. Okay, so here's the home page. These three bars over here, you're going to click on those and a drop down menu appears. You take attendance in classroom, so click on classroom. And you will be brought to information about your classroom. Make sure you click on the word term and that will make classes show up. Um, because I'm the elementary team lead, I have I can see everybody's class. I have to click on more my classes, but you probably only just have your classes um, in there. Okay, so here are my classes. We've set up a class called Newbie just for me to show you this. You would click on your homeroom class to take attendance if you were in the elementary and if you were in the middle school and the high school you will click on the class that you're presently in um, and then it will bring that up okay now you notice it says day does not fall with any term range and there's no students listed if i go to the calendar and i change this to whatever date it is I'll, I'll choose the first day of school because that will have students show up. And you notice that I have two students in this um, make-believe class that we have set up. I have Quinn and Stacy Woodard. Okay, now across here there are codes that you're going to click on to fill in attendance. If they're present, you can just click under code number one and it puts a P in there for Quinn. You can do this for every student just by individually clicking or what you can do is you can click on fill code and it will fill the entire class for you with one click and you don't have to click individually. The other codes that I want to talk about are RS. If a student is present at school just not in the building because they are in remote school you would click on RS for them. If they are tardy, you're going to click on the T. ASA stands for they're absent from your class, but they are in a school activity. Maybe um, this is a class where their art class is on a field trip, for instance, but they're not in your science class. They're here at school, they're doing a school activity they're just not in your class so you're going to click on ASA and then if they're not in your class you're going to click on unexcused absent and you notice that there is no excused absent as teachers we do not fill that in we just fill in that they're absent and administration will go in and determine whether it is an excused absence or an unexcused absence so let's just say for instance if Stacy is not here I don't know where she is. I'm going to click on the unexcused absence for her and it will save it. So this is all that you have to do to take attendance. 
just make sure that this is done at the beginning of every class. Make sure that every student is filled in. You can um, later change it to a week view if you would prefer to see it as a week or a month. I just typically keep it on day. Once you have done this, it automatically is in RenWeb, it's automatically saved, and then the administration can go in, see what you have put, and then they'll start contacting people who are absent. So if you have any questions, um, please reach out to either me or one of the, actually to Mr. Um, Dr. Hunter, and he would be able to answer questions for you. Thanks so much.